can stay You can stay away forever The band was formed in 1999 in Huntington Beach, California with the initial formation of M. Shadows, Zaki Vengeance, The Rev and Matt Went. After its formation, each member of the band also used a pseudonym which was their nickname from school, then prior to releasing their debut album, the band recorded two demos in 1999 and 2000. Their debut album was Sounding the Seventh Trumpet, which was recorded when the members the band was only 18 years old and still in school. It was originally released on their first label called Good Life Recordings in 2001. Later guitarist Sinister Gates joined the band in late 1999, the album was later re-released on Hopeless Records in 2002, and the band began to receive recognition and perform with the band. Bands such as Mushroom Head and Shadows Fall as well as playing on the Take Action Tour. After they added Johnny Christ on bass, they released Waking the Fallen on Hopeless Records in August 2003. The band received profiles on Billboard and the Boston Globe and played on the Vans Warped Tour, then in 2004 they toured again on the Vans Warped Tour and recorded a video for their song Unholy Confessions which was screened at MTV Headbangers Ball. Shortly after the release of Waking the Fallen, Avenged Sevenfold left Hopeless Records and signed with Warner Brothers. City of Evil is the band's third album and their first major label debut, released on June 7, 2005 and debuted at number 30 on the Billboard 200 chart, selling over 30,000 copies in its first week of release. This album uses a classic metal sound that is more epic than their previous albums which have been grouped into the metalcore genre. This album is also notable for the absence of cream vocals from M. Shadows. M. Shadows turned out to be practicing vocals with Ron Anderson, who also coached Axl Rose and Chris Cornell. After playing Ozfest in 2006 they beat R&B singers like Rihanna and Chris Brown, Panic at the Disco, Angels and Airwaves, and James Blunt for Best New Artist at the MTV Video Music Awards, thanks to their song Bat Country. They returned to the Vans Warped Tour but this time headlined and then continued with the Cities of Evil Tour. In addition, their lead single titled Bat Country reached number 2 on Billboard's Mainstream Rock Charts, number 6 on Billboard's Modern Rock Charts, and the video clip also reached number 1 on MTV's Total Request Live. Driven by this success the album sold well and became the band's first gold record, and it was later certified platinum in August 2009. The band's mainstream success saw them being invited to the 2006 Ozfest tour on the main stage alongside well-known hard rock and heavy metal bands such as Dragon Force, Lacuna Coil, Hatebreed, Disturbed, and System of a Down. In the same year they also completed a worldwide tour including America, UK and mainland Europe, Japan, Australia, and New Zealand. After touring for 16 months in promotion of City of Evil, the band announced that they were cancelling their 2006 fall tour in favor of recording new songs. M. Shadows stated that their self-titled, self-produced fourth studio album would not be City of Evil Part 2 or Waking the Fallen Part 2, but would incorporate a new, grittier sound. To entertain fans in between the making of the album, the band released their first DVD entitled All Excess on July 17, 2007. All Excess debuted as Davidi's number one in America including live performances and backstage footage that spanned the eight years the band was formed. Two tribute albums titled Strung Out on Avenged Sevenfold Bat Wings and The String Tribute were also released in October 2007. The band's fourth album released on October 30, 2007 debuted at number four on the Billboard 200, with sales of over 90,000 copies. In December 2007 an animated video was made for the song A Little Piece of Heaven, however due to the song's controversial topic, 
Warner Brothers only released it to registered MVA users over the internet. Their third single titled Afterlife and its music video were released in January 2008, and their fourth single Dear God was released on September 30, 2008, and their self-titled album sold over 500,000 copies and was awarded Album of the Years at the Kerrang! Awards. Avenged Sevenfold headlined their 2008 Taste of Chaos tour, they also used footage from their last show in Long Beach for Live in the Albition and Diamonds in the Rough. They also recorded many covers including Pantera's Walk, Iron Maiden's Flash of the Blade, and Black Sabbath's Paranoid. The band also released DVD tutorial guitar which includes five songs, namely Afterlife, Almost Easy, Bat Country, Beast and the Harlot, and Trashed and Scattered. During sold-out festival shows in Leeds and Reading, the band was forced to cut their performances in Leeds and cancel their appearances at Reading due to vocal problems suffered by M Shadows. A few days later the band was forced to announce the cancellation of the remaining September shows, and the tour would resume on October 15. In January 2009, M Shadows confirmed that the band was writing their next album in the coming months. They announced that they planned to start writing in June 2009 and recording in October 2009. M Shadows also said in an interview with Loveline that the next record would be a more classic and more rock-oriented record as well as very experimental, more progressive songs and would be their greatest record ever. Then on July 15, 2009, their website and MySpace profile were updated with a statement from M Shadows implying that work on the next album had begun. In an interview, M Shadows has revealed that after the band will wrap up their tour with a final appearance at the Sonosphere Festival on August 2, and they will be going into the studio to write and record a new studio album. On November 5, 2009, Zaki Vengeance posted a message on the official website stating that they had returned from their tour and were immediately starting to focus on forming a production team to start recording the album. Long story short on December 28, 2009, their drummer the Reverend Sullivan was found dead at his home at the age of 28 years with inconclusive autopsy results. In a statement by the band, they expressed their sadness at the passing of the Rev and asked that his family's privacy be respected. Jimmy is not only one of the best drummers in the world, but more importantly he is a friend and brother to all the members of this band. Manager Larry Jacobson revealed how Sullivan was such a good figure to everyone. Then in January 2010 James Sullivan's body was buried in an undisclosed location. and subsequently the band released Nightmare with drummer Mike Portnoy of Dream Theater. In 2011 they recorded the song Carry On for Call of Duty Arms Black Ops, before releasing Hail to the King featuring a new drummer named Arin Ilahai. Due to Ilahai's creative differences with the band, he left the band shortly after the album's release, and was replaced by Brooks Wackerman who became the man kit for the band's seventh album Voltaic Oceans. The band eventually cancelled the release without promotion, and they changed the title to the stage which arrived in October 2016 after a live-streamed performance above the Capitol building in Hollywood. The record is the longest to date, and is described by the band as a concept album exploring the theme of intelligence. The 16-minute ending theme song Exit features a spoken word performance by venerable astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. The band continued to develop the album by releasing a series of singles in 2017 including a cover of the Rolling Stones song As Tears Go, 